Hi, this is Eric Redvig from IGN Xbox 360. We've got a special treat for you today. There are three games coming out from Burger King in what might be the most ridiculous promotional pairing ever. Microsoft and Burger King have teamed up to put out Pocket Bike Racer, Big Bumpin', and Sneak King, which you can purchase from November 19th through December 24th as a special holiday promotion. The games are only four bucks, so we'll tell you whether it's worth your time and money to play them. We'll kick things off with what is probably the weakest of the trio, Pocket Bike Racer. This is a generic kart racing game, and once the novelty of driving around as a giant hamburger, or as the king, or even as Brooke Burke wears off, there isn't much of a draw. Each of the five courses has a series of lit gates for you to go through. Doing so will cause a meter on the right side of the screen to fill up. This can be used for turbo at any time, or you can use it to attack other players with different weapons, but when it boils right down to it, this is a pretty bad Mario Kart clone. There are four types of gameplay, the standard race, the battle, the cone trial, and hardcore. Hardcore racing should actually have probably been called boring, because it takes away all of the gates and power-ups and you just race around on some pretty uninspired tracks. The rest of the modes are pretty common and nothing special, although the battle mode is pretty bad. The multiplayer side of things is a little bit better. You can play it online or off with four player split screen offline or eight players online, and it's much more fun than going against the terrible computer AI. Next up we have Big Bumpin'. This game actually looks amazing for one that costs four bucks. How come most live arcade games don't look this good? It plays pretty well too. Big Bumpin' is a series of mini games where you ride in a bumper car. There are five different games including Hockey, Last Man Standing, Power Surge, Shock Ball, and Own the Puck. There are only five arenas and not every game type can be played on each one. So the variety here is pretty limited as you might expect from a budget game. Still, the advertising isn't shoved down your throat as much as you'd expect in a game like this. And the games are actually pretty fun on the level of Fusion Frenzy. You can play them four player locally or through Xbox Live. And the game gets quite fun when you end up playing it as a party game, although it's pretty thin. This isn't a game you're going to be playing forever since there are only 10 different gameplay options, but it's still worth the $4 investment. And last but certainly not least, there's Sneak King. This is probably the creepiest game ever made. You play as a big headed king, and it's your mission to deliver Burger King food to unsuspecting but hungry citizens. The trick is that if they see you as you're trying to sneak up to them, they will lose their appetite. That means you have to stay out of their vision cones and hide in various nooks around the environment to deliver your meals unseen. For each delivery, you're awarded a score based on how hungry the person was, how close you got, how many successive deliveries you've made unseen, and how well you fill up the flourish bar after you make the delivery. There are four different environments, each with 20 missions. The environments are fairly small in size and contain several places where players can interact with their surroundings or hide and wait. They're quite shallow, but at least the missions have a decent amount of variety. You'll get different ratings for how well you complete the objectives, encouraging players to go back and find a better way to make the deliveries. But when it comes right down to it, it's the animations that make this game so good. The king looks seriously creepy as he tries to sneak up on unsuspecting people and hand them food. Even more scary is when he's hiding in a garbage can and you see a girl coming down an alleyway. This game is disturbing beyond all reason. It's weird for sure, but it's just weird enough to be hilarious for a short while, and few people would find themselves upset if they dropped a few dollars on it. Plus, having this game on your achievement list is a badge of honor.